superpower user tips and tricks so in this video ends now those who are new to my and you know keep asking started so very first thing is that how do you use PIP right so it depends it Hey guys, I'm Mabil back again with another video. This time it is about the another episode on Android Power user tips and tricks. So in this video, I'll show you some tips and tricks that you can, you can use to enhance your smartphone experience. Now, those who are new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button and those who have already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys and you know, keep asking these kind of questions because it really helps me to make more videos. So let's get started. So very first thing is that how do you use PIP, right? So it, depend, it depends on the app that you're using. If the app supports PIP, then you can use it. For an example, Chrome supports this. Netflix also supports. Now how to use it on YouTube? That is one question, right? Because this normal YouTube app doesn't support PIP. Okay, but there is a solution to that. I'll show you. Now let's start with the Chrome first. So all you have to do when you launch Chrome, and if you watch any video, suppose I'm visiting this Times of India website. Now, if you click on any video, all you have to do, watch that video on full screen. Okay, full screen mode. Tap the full screen mode, then touch the home button. And you can see that the PIP would be activated. Here you can see that the PIP mode has been activated and you can now do other stuff. Okay, no problem. Okay, the this PIP mode will be activated there. So all you have to do, watch the video, you know, in full screen mode. Okay, and touch the home button here, and that's it, guys. It's very simple. In case of Chrome, now how to do it? In case of YouTube, the problem here is that this normal YouTube app doesn't support PIP. For that, you have to get that Red app. So all you have to do, search on the Google YouTube Red app APK. Okay. And then you have to scroll down and download it from a trusted website that is XDA Developers. So there you will get the links. Okay. So here you can download this version, black one, non-root versions, because if you download any rooted version, then you have to root your phone, and that should not be done, right? Because that will actually revoke your warranty. So never do that. So what you have to do? Download this second option one, black version. So download it, it's very simple, you just click it and it will start downloading. And the good thing is that, you know, just click it, okay, and select your Google account and it will start downloading, okay. So it's very simple, after downloading, you just have to install it, okay. And uh, I've already installed it, so I don't have to do it twice. And the good thing is that it doesn't ask for any kind of permission. So that is a really good thing, right. And after that, all you have to do, launch that app. Okay, here you can see this app. Launch this. And suppose I want to visit my own channel. Okay, now if you play any video, all you have to do, you don't have to go to full screen mode. You just have to tap the home button. Here you can see that it has been activated. Okay, and another good news is that you can use it when the phone is locked. Suppose the video is playing, right? Now if I lock the phone, still it will work. Okay, so this will help you to listen to music on YouTube. So this is really good. You don't have to do nothing. Suppose if it is not working, then what do you have to do? Simply, what do you have to do? Simply go to setting. Okay, there you will have this option. That is what is called background. Okay. Here you can see this background. Okay, playback always on. So background play is on already. So if it is not on, then just turn it on. So this will work. So it's a really good feature because now you can you know watch videos and plus you can listen to music because normally this normal app, what happens if you lock the phone, it stop, you know, it, it stops. So now if you want to listen to music on YouTube, then you just play it and lock the phone. Still you can listen to that. So that is a really cool feature, right? And the next thing that I would like to share, it's a very simple thing. Some of you are asking how to get the, you know, black theme of the dialer. Okay, so what you have to do, go to setting, okay, then display. There you can see that dark theme, 
right here you can see this dark theme all you have to do what I say uh, just hit this three dots okay then setting then display option then dark theme okay so now you can see that a dialer is dark now so it's very simple and some of you are saying that you are unable to find the even the you know miss call so what do you have to do here again call history here you can see that these are the miss calls right it's very simple another thing i would like to tell you some of you are also saying that the block number option is not there simply all you have to do phone app tap on these three vertical dots then setting and you can see that the fifth option is block numbers so just tap on it then you can add numbers that you would like to block it's very simple and if you have already added something any number then it will show here and you can remove it also it's very simple guys so i think these options will help you guys i'm also reading other questions and some of the questions are that you are asking about how to change the font of the nokia 6.1 plus or 5.1 plus the problem is that there are certain limitations that come with stock android right so that is the thing that still i'm uh, finding trying to find those of you know tricks so if, once i find i'll surely make a video on it right but at present because of stock android there are certain things which are not feasible so we just have to wait okay so i believe that you like this video and if you have liked it then do hit the subscribe button and do share with your friends and help us and help me to build our channel so till the next video cheers guys